All right, so let's talk about harvest because harvest is really important with sparkling wines. Generally, we are picking these grapes first before any other types of grapes are picked because we want to get a lower sugar to, because we're going to do two fermentations with sparkling wines. Second fermentation is going to add about a degree and a half of alcohol. So we're going to keep the alcohol levels relatively low, like 10 and a half, 11 percent. So you harvest early. And that also keeps the acidity really high because the acidity hasn't respired completely from the grape. And that's an important component for the, the balance of the wine. Uh, for people who are really making top quality sparkling wines, it will be hand harvested. In fact, it's mandatory in Champagne. You have to, by law, you have to hand harvest the grapes. And then you come in and you press. Um, the press that you see in this picture is a very traditional press called the Cocard press. Um, they use other you know, modern presses nowadays, but generally this still is evident in Champagne today. I was in Champagne about a month ago, and there are a lot of people that still use this Cocard press. Um, and it's designed in the 17th century, and they still use it, which is really cool. So it gently presses. It's very wide and shallow, and therefore, to extract the juice, you don't have to put too much pressure on the grapes. And that helps to avoid bitterness, uh, because bitterness is something that will become very evident in a sparkling glass, sparkling wine glass, with all the bubbles and everything. It, makes a, it emphasizes any bitterness in the wine. And the other thing is, most sparkling wines even though they're made from two red grapes like Meunier and Pinot Noir, a lot of sparkling wines are not colored. They're, you know, they look like lemon or yellow color. They not look like rosé or red wine. So you want to avoid getting much extraction of color from the skins. And by gentle pressing, you avoid the color and you also avoid the bitterness. Um, and they have in Champagne, they have a thing where they call it the cuvee, which is the, like the free run, the first juice that comes out. And then the second part is called the taille which is after heavier press. 